Hi students, I'm Ampika. I'm going to show you how to take derivatives with rules in a simpler way. We are going to see how to find derivatives. So first of all, let us know what is a derivative because it's a good thing to know about it. Derivatives are an important concept in calculus and in the mathematical underpinnings of science. So let us know about that. Let's say we are having a random curve. So here we are going to draw a straight line. Actually, it's a tangent line. It touches the curve at only one point. That's why we are calling the straight line a tangent line. We'll name this curve as y, a function. So now, if you find the slope of this tangent line to the curve at this point, it's said to be derivative. So derivative can be denoted as dy by dx. So this is the notation we are using for finding the derivatives. So let us know how to find the derivative of a given function. So what they would do means they will give us some polynomials. Let's say we are having like this two functions together. So first term they have given another term is x cube plus x plus 5. So here we got two functions multiplied together. So to find the derivative of this product rule is the best option to go for. What does it say? We we'll look into the rule. It says derivative of two functions. We are going to write that as u and v. So it says that we have to write the first term as it is times the derivative of the second term plus second term we will be writing as it is the derivative of the first term. So this rule we are going to apply in this problem. Let's try out. We'll see what happens. So here the derivative of y with respect to x is dy by dx. So we are going to write the first term as it is times the derivative of the second term here which is v. If we name this as u, the second term is v. So the derivative of the second term is 3x square. How I got 3x square? By applying power rule. So power rule says the derivative of whenever we got a power, the power has to be written in front and then it has to be get reduced by 1. So if we apply this in the second term, we are writing 3 in front and the power has got reduced by 1. So that becomes 2. So 3x square we got. And now the derivative of x is simply 1. Now the derivative of a constant uh, we know which is 0. So we are going to leave as it is. And then we are going to put plus sign. The second term here which is v, we are going to write as it is. Times the derivative of this first term which is 2x by applying our power rule. So this is said to be the derivative of the given function. It gives us the slope of this tangent line to the curve at any point. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you.